What is up guys? Wraith here, Greybearded Gaming Society. And that just happened. We uh couldn't didn't even think to hit the the button to try to capture anything. We were just kind of farming in the, the cave a little bit, trying to uh you know pad our experience. Well, there was somebody else in the cave. Like he'd cleared from the outside in. We were inside. We'd camped out there. And he was like, oh, you know, you can you can have the camp, blah, blah, blah. But then he sat down at the front of the cave and went AFK. So uh, I tried to keep him from dying because the spawns came back in. And it ended up getting me killed. So, uh, try to play the hero and, and you pay for it. So let me see if I can get a, a ride back out to my corpse. And we will, uh, we will go from there. Alright, so we finally got a ride to Dreadlands. I appreciate the ride from Strictly. Unfortunately, Strictly was a wizard. Which means no spirit of wolf, so we're gonna have to hoof it the slow way. Um, so I mean, I guess like a little clarification on what happened. Like I said, I didn't. Uh, as bad as it was, I didn't think to have my uh, my capture software up because like, all right, we're just we're just gonna farm some yeti, so it's not gonna be a big deal. But um, like I said, what it, what had happened is I, of course, I had logged out in the the yeti room again, the little cave that I had been in. And when I logged in, there was the Yeti up to the left and the Yeti up at the door. So I went left, and as I was about to engage that one, an ogre Shadow Knight ran in to grab the other one. I was like, well, okay, I mean, I'll finish this one and we'll discuss and, and kind of figure out what's going on. Very cool guy, you know, let me know what was happening. It's like he was, he was basically fighting something on his lunch break. Um, you know, I'm working from home today. And it's actually my lunch break as well, so I thought, oh, I'll kill, I'll kill some Yetis. But um, he said I could have the camp, and then he copped a squat like right there in the cave entrance. And then the problem is, is, normally when I've been working on the Yetis, right, I I split them out, I break them apart, and kind of use my mend as a timer. So I have my mend during combat, right, because they they still hit me pretty hard, and I want to be on the safe side. Well, the one in the tunnel walked down and aggroed him, so I ran over and fought it. But of course, I used my mend. I was back to almost full life. However, it was, uh, you know, all my my good cooldowns, obviously, except for feign death, were were down. Well, then the one right by the door spawned and aggroed him, and I, I sent him a couple of tells. I was like, I don't have enough health to fight this thing. Um, you know like are you there you know don't be afk you know but uh i ended up feigning death in the back of the room with very little hit points left i was you know trying to get the thing off of him i feigned death it started fighting his pet and then went after him and i made the decision I made the decision to try to stand up and bind wound to see if I could try to get back in the fight and help and keep everybody from dying. And the second I stood up, he ran across the room, he attacked, and I couldn't get a feign death off, and I went splat. And then chatting with him through the chat, he didn't make it back in time either. He was AFK the whole time. By the time he came back, he was dead as well. So when I get back to the cave, there's going to be a little dead monkey in it and a little dead ogre uh, at this point I guess it's no, no such thing as a little dead ogre so there'll be a speed bump at the front of the door um, I don't know whether he's just gonna come back and handle it later or, or what he's going to do but um, so we're gonna make our way back to the cave uh, pretty disappointed not going to lie about that uh, not how I intended this lunch break to go which makes it worse is I'm running out of time so uh, I'm not gonna be able to sit there to get any of my experience back let me feign this guy off so he goes away and then we will start our uh, our mad dash 
to uh, to our little cave and try to get our our corpse back. Boo. So in case anybody was curious, this is what a human sees in this cave when he doesn't have a serpent sight ring on. I see the outlines of bad guys in the distance and nothing more. Let's see if I'm safe to stand up. I am. No aggro from anywhere. There's our new speed bump. Again, you know, good dude and everything. Just bad timing, bad placement. You know, I guess, uh, you know, no good deed goes unpunished. I probably should have just stayed down. But it's really not typically my style to just let somebody go splat like that. So, but as they say, no good deed, right? So, I'm uh, I'm gonna sit here and pout. Lunch break is over, so I wasted my entire lunch break just uh, doing that. At least we got one or two kills in before we did go splat. But uh, yeah, we'll pick this up next time after uh, after I'm back from my little trip. All right, guys. Well, we are back from our little trip, our little vacation, if you will. We were uh, we camped out in the Eddie Cave. Somebody's obviously around, so we're just gonna pull out from here. There's only one guy up, and he actually just spawned as we uh, as we got in there. So we're going to uh, try to make sure there might be somebody sitting right outside. Maybe hard to say, hard to say. But we're gonna we're gonna clear out and make sure because I want to be that guy. That, you know, logs into somebody else's camp. Well, I mean... Alright, so we are gonna... We are gonna fight our way out at the very minimum. We'll do this part at least. But yeah, um, you know, obviously our last outing... While, uh... Kind of dated at this point, st still fresh in the mind. We, uh... You know, like like I said before, no, no good deed really goes un unpunished. We, uh, we probably should have just feigned in the corner and, and let fate happen. But we just, I just hate doing that kind of stuff to people, right? I mean, he was a nice guy. He gave up the camp. There was no contestation, anything like that. I was trying to get him back to his keyboard so maybe, you know, both of us could survive. But you know, it is it is what it is. But I think also, you know, why this, this spot's been a pretty decent little spot. It's, uh, you know, I think, I think we go try to go beat up something somewhere else. Only because, you know, as mentioned in the, even in the comments and other people, the, the grind section is on. That's that's for sure, right? Once you start getting, you know, that 40s range. 40 is, is bad enough anyway. We're about halfway through it now. But, uh, no, sorry. I, was, I got distracted. I got distracted. But yeah, like I said, we're uh, go ahead and mend up, sit down. We're about halfway through it now, so hopefully it speeds up a little bit when we get on the other side of this. But I really, really think it's time to find somewhere else to do some hunting. Um, you know, yes, this spot's probably decently efficient. There might be something better somewhere, and this is where you know I start to struggle because with uh, with a lot of my other characters, even historically, right? I had enchanters, I had clerics. I mean, I was either healing. You know, doing the utility utilitarian role, basically with a lot of spellcasters. I had the, I had the one rogue, you know, really back in the day, um, but he had a, like a kind of a preformed group, right? So I didn't have to worry about finding groups with him. He didn't really have to solo because rogues are notoriously bad at soloing. I mean, until your gear is, you know, off the charts, they're just they're not super efficient. Now you have no heals, you have no sustain, things like that. The monk has been better at that, absolutely, but we're in that stage now too, right? Where it's, you know. What are some really good spots to take this guy where he can farm efficiently, right? It doesn't have to be the biggest bang for my buck where I fight, but then I'm down until men totally recovers. And maybe I'm just in like a a soft spot, right? Like where it's like, okay, I'm just in that perfect kind of mixed spot where it's just, you know, kind of causing me some, some problems, which is very possible, which is very possible. But, um, you know, all that being said, we, uh, we are back. We're hopefully going to get uh, get some more action coming up this week. Like, so this particular video is probably going to be a little bit short. We uh, we have a little bit of uh, stuff to catch up on, some chores and whatnot, all the things that didn't get done while we were out last week. But, uh, you know, we didn't have, again, very limited playtime. We tried to sneak in a lunch break one day. That was a disaster. We're kind of sneaking in now. 
Um, and, you know, part of me was was also thinking, you know, do do and we we mentioned this. Do we take a break from from straight leveling? And do we work on you know some some quest type stuff, right? Do we go work on you know some of the stuff that we know we need for like our epic? Like, do we go work on the headband? Uh, we have the belt already. You know, do we do we start doing some of that stuff? Um, you know, potentially a little bit early because I don't think you can technically get. Uh, I don't think you can get actually that stuff to like forty five. I think. I think. Any hoozle. but um, you know, I think we're gonna try a couple different things. See what kind of different adventures we can get into, and then see you know rather than just because what I worry about from a from a channel perspective is if I just you know when you get to this point and granted. You know, yes, it's it's kind of slim now. He's down to one life, but everything at this point is going to be the grind, right? So how do we mix that up? How do we how do we shake that up and not just have every single video some fight montage of me sitting there? Whoa, pay attention to where I'm going so I don't run into little spider people. I believe like all of those dudes are casters, so they can be a pain in the butt. Uh, where was I? Oh yes. So you know, just don't want every single video to be. Just some combat montage of, of me trying to beat stuff up, trying to keep it interesting, kind of try to keep it fresh so people want to watch at least a little bit. So we will we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, and I also like I, I just started like wandering around without really having anything in mind. So why we're here together? Let's check out this giant fort. So I kind of just started running. I mean, I think these these giants should basically be on par with the giants that we were thumping on right in in frontier i believe let's up ah! i have no idea how many are in here now he hits pretty hard so maybe we should have waited till we had been we'll see we're hitting back now we're hitting back all right So maybe these guys are just a little bit tougher. Well, let's go ahead and do that. We'll give this we'll give this one another shot just to see, just to see. Stick around for me. We'll give this one another shot. See if it's worth picking off some of these guys. We're uh oh no okay so yeah some of these guys are getting even bigger so this is probably a bad idea huh? <laughs> yeah that guy might actually hurt us because he's uh not you that guy yeah so these guys are even bigger. And on the front of your mouth. So probably not the best spot. Let's uh let's heal back up and find somewhere else to go. Alright, King. So we just kind of kept wandering and uh we found Carnors. <laughs> not like it's all that hard to find. It's pretty much the single biggest thing in the entire zone. So we're right outside of Carnors Castle. And I'm actually curious, let's see. Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of people in zone. Imagine you got I mean, yeah, Necro Ranger, yeah, like a lot of classes are really good at soloing stuff. Some of the big kids who might potentially just be passing by. Keep a tab on something else. But this was the spot here. You know, back again when I played forever and ever and ever ago. People would, would get up on these ridge lines and have little groups. And you would just run out there into the open field and pull stuff. And you'd pull it back to the ridge and you'd battle it over here. For solo play, it's probably safe for me to pull it back even further. Make sure nothing, nothing rolls up on me. And of course, I we'll also have to be very careful about the... Um, the ravishing droll vargs that uh, patrol right around in that area because they are bright red and will uh, will squish us flat. But most of the rest of the ones out here tend to be blue. Now I know with some of the drachnids you got to be careful because I think the widows are a little bit bigger. But it'll give us an opportunity to like mix and match. Maybe on a different day there'll be some people out here we can kind of group with. But I think what we're gonna do. I know it's a you know shorter video this time, mostly just me talking. Unfortunately, sorry about that. But we're gonna, I think we're gonna set up here and fire off men to get to full life. I think we're gonna set up here and we're gonna pick up the action here next time and see how we do with just a plethora of different options instead of killing the same three guys over and over again. And maybe we get super lucky and there'll be a group out here that we can join and do something along that. But as always, if you guys do have any great ideas, places we could go that would be you know much more efficient or just better or even fun or you know whatever i'm i'm down by all means let us know down below we do love to hear from everybody in the comments or hit me up in game if you catch me doesn't have to be reading it can be trapped i'm still playing in like i said he's 39 now and rolling 
you know, if you catch me on Stink right now, I've kind of been on Trafton Kick. So Trafton's getting a little bit more play time right now than, than Stink has. But, you know, you can look me up on any of those characters. And as soon as I'm paying attention, I will uh, I will hit you back. But until next time, guys, I think this would be a good spot to call it. Again, a little bit short this time, a little bit depressing this time. But they can't always be, we can't always be ringers. But until next time, guys, stay safe, stay distant, stay in EverQuest. We will catch you guys here next week. Night, guys.